And can I just ask a very quick question? You yeah. spoke to Boris Johnson this week. I, I just wonder how, how he sounded, how he was. I did. When do you think he'll be back at he work? He called me a few days ago. Uh, I will tell you he sounded incredible. I was actually surprised. I thought it'd be like, oh, Donald, how are you? He was ready to go. I, I could. I'm very surprised to tell you this. It's like the old Boris. Tremendous energy, tremendous drive. I was very surprised because he called me almost, you know, pretty close to where, when he got out of the hospital. Uh, I think he's doing great. I think he's doing great. He was so sharp and energetic. Pretty incredible. He's an incredible guy. He's a friend of ours and, and a friend of mine. He loves our country. He loves his country a lot, but he loves our country. He respects our country. And uh, they're lucky to have him over there. The media isn't covering the great job that we've done, whether it's Mike's task force, which has been incredible, whether it's the way we mobilized in a warlike operation to build these incredibly complex and very expensive ventilators. They're very expensive to build and very complex. The job we've done has been an amazing job. And I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about everybody. I'm talking about the generals, the admirals, Deborah and Tony and, and now Bill. I mean, something we hadn't heard today. So I can't tell you what's going to happen with the election. I think that uh, had we not gone through a fake Russia, Russia, Russia deal, an impeachment hoax, it was a total hoax, from the day I got elected, but you know it wasn't the day, it was many months before I got elected. This has been a witch hunt that was illegal. It was an illegal witch hunt. It was illegal. And with all of that, I'm doing fine. Because the people see we're doing a great job. And you know what? We'll continue to do a great job. If we had an honest press, this country would be even greater. Thank you. Thank you very much. Another whistleblower complaint, Mr. President.